Preparing for parenthood involves so much. And one thing that is a really useful um, exercise is to reflect on what your current relationship is with control and certainty, or the perception of control and certainty, I'll say. That's probably more realistic. Once we give birth and really find ourselves in that early stage of postpartum and this unfolding of ourselves as newborn mothers, as well as our babies who are in this early fourth trimester experience, it can really shatter or explode a lot of the way that um, we feel life could be or should be or how things could happen. And there is I'll speak from my personal experience, nothing more challenging than being in an experience with maybe lack of sleep, maybe other needs not being really met, trying to console a baby that you feel like everything you're doing isn't working. That's such a you know obvious and quintessential example of early parenthood, but it's one that's very real. So stepping in before you give birth and checking in with what situations make you feel out of control or uncomfortable, and then starting to incorporate tools for self-soothing and for self-regulation um, is something that will be super serving uh, in the transition to parenthood and, and the early days, months, years. For me personally, some things that um, come up are around my perceived control of time. So if I feel like I have um, kind of the autonomy to choose how I'm spending my time, I'm in a total happy place. And when I'm starting to do something and get interrupted or distracted or someone else imposes their agenda intentionally or unintentionally on me, I feel myself reacting. And this is so important to be aware of um, Well, I was still pregnant and I had a chance to kind of start to practice how I could respond differently rather than react. Uh, because when a newborn's hungry, they're hungry. When a newborn is cranky or goes to the bathroom or a partner needs to take a break, they need to take a break. And so early postpartum is this time of fluid and flow and flexibility if we allow it to be um, without driving ourselves crazy. And, uh, and, so, and so what I really practiced in both of my pregnancies, um, although the second time it was easier, to, I had lots of practice material because I had a toddler running around. Um, but when I felt myself getting that sort of trigger or, or picking up on this discomfort around feeling like my time was being uh, taken from me or, or somehow not in, in my control, uh, I really worked with the breath. And I really worked with the mental reframe around the kind of the season of life that I was in and the understanding that I am okay, the situation is okay, and all I have right now is an attachment and a perception. And taking deep, slow breaths was a huge, huge component that helped me with that. Um, so that's just one example. But, you know, if you start to look around in your own life, what are the things that are already potentially triggering? Um, and giving yourself the chance to journal about it, to work with a coach, to do a little research or preparations or exercises to kind of start to shift or condition or prepare your body, mind, spirit, whatever it is, uh, is something that is greatly serving. Thanks for tuning in.